I am learning how to put together a recurve right now. So I learned bottom, what this is called, like, is this like a limb, just like we would call it on our yeah, compound. Right. So the bottom limb's always gonna have your writing and your poundage on it. Uh, your strings, you always want the bigger loop on the top and then uh, just where to place your rest. So we just kind of figured that out. For a lefty, obviously, they're gonna be shaped opposite directions. And you just slide them in, lock them in with the little bolts here, and then she is almost good to go. The more and more we start doing this uh, by hand, you're more likely to start getting developing twists in the limbs. So it's nice to have a stringer to keep those limbs straight. With these bows, you want to take them down after you're shooting them. So you don't want to leave them strong. So your pouch goes on your bottom limb. Your stop is going to go up top. I like to push it forward on that loop as much as possible. Then you're just going to step on your portage. You're going to pull up so you get slack. And then you're just going to push your loop up and over that limb. Not to double check, make sure we're in that groove, make sure we're on, check the bottom, good to go. And to take it off, just the opposite. Yeah, so we're putting the pouch on the bottom, up top, putting the stop up top. Stepping on that portage, pulling it up so we got slack, and we're pulling that loop up and over that limb. So now you're good, you're unstrung. Oh boy. You got that? I got it. I and think it's I always got it. Important to have that bigger loop up top because if you get it flopped around, it's be off. yeah, then Upside your, your uh, knock point's going to be off. <laughs> the first one that popped in, and you said long arrow. So obviously, I'm assuming much longer bow than my compound. Are my arrows naturally going to be longer for a recurve than they are for compound? Not necessarily because your bow is longer. It's just more on draw length. Okay. But with a recurve, like, you know, on compound, we like to get FOC, so we're going to get that. Um, I mean, it's good to have it with your trad bows, too, to have that FOC, but we like to get these ones out, sitting out a little bit further out in front of the bow, whereas on our compound bows, we'll bring them back pretty deep into that riser. Yeah. I'm definitely not an expert on this, by far. Well, you're more but of an expert than I am. <laughs> I, I like to listen to the elders and big shout out to Jim Velasquez. He's the one that taught me and there's so much more he can teach me. He, he's, he's the man. You can shoot a split finger where that knock of the arrow is going to sit right in between your pointer finger and your middle finger or you can shoot three fingers under. I used to shoot this way because I thought it was cool because it looked more traditional and then I talked to the elders and if you look at a lot of the awesome trad bow shooters a lot of them are shooting three fingers under jim velasquez shoots three finger under three fingers under so i'm gonna shoot three fingers <laughs> under. <laughs> i'm gonna go three fingers under i'm gonna, not gonna get too close to that knock because when i draw back i'm gonna get knock pinch right because our angle on the, the string is gonna get tighter and i'm gonna start pinching that that uh, okay. knock so i'm gonna get a little space down where i like to anchor i'm gonna draw back newer people um, I'll have them grab their pinky and draw back and set that chin on that ah. pinky so they don't get the thumb stuck in between their face and their hand because we want our hand right on that face so that we can get our eye right up above the shaft of that arrow. Okay. And that's how we're going to aim. So if I get a little space, three fingers under, relax that front hand. Don't judge me on my shot because <laughs> I really don't shoot trap much anymore. But Stay back. And then we're gonna pull through that shot. I need to watch that so, multiple times. Yeah, let me walk through it. So three fingers under, got a little bit of gap, relaxing that front hand. I like to get a little cant on that bow. Um, I'm more of a bow hunter, not a target shooter, so your target shooters are gonna draw back a little differently. They're gonna draw back very straight. Um, they just got a different way of shooting. The little cant, draw back, finger corner of the mouth, face is on that string, eyes right up above the shaft of that arrow. From there, I don't want to pluck the string here. I want to relax the fingers as I pull through that shot. Okay. And I don't want to grip this bow, just like on a compound bow, if I start gripping that on shot, then I'm going to get torn. Mm -hmm. 
so I want to relax that hand. Is it similar? To that? That's obviously mm -hmm. a lot thicker than mine yeah. is, but same thing in that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah, exactly. You go copy now. Okay. You're going to draw back. When you draw back, this finger, your pointer finger is going to hit the corner of your mouth. Some people will even hit that. I don't know the correct name for that tooth, but it looks like a fang tooth. Canine. So. There you go. Yeah, Canine. That'll work. And then which are the fingers you said you make people touch? Oh, so get the pinky off. Oh. Grab your thumb oh, with your pinky. Oh, this one stays. Yep. Pinky and you don't and want to go together. too deep. You want to stay on the outer. Yeah. Okay, so like the first knuckle, pinky and thumb together, mm -hmm. slight space. Yeah. Okay. So when you draw back, set your chin on top of it. Okay. And then, and then, and this then go. This finger's coming to yep, the corner of my corner mouth. Of mouth. Slash chin and off. we're drawing straight back here. Straight back. And now I'm lefty, so if I were to pant, it's going to be this. What, this, this way. way. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Otherwise, mm -hmm. the air is going to fall mm -hmm. off. Right. Got it. Okay. okay. Nice. So this is going there. Yes, ma'am. But where's there it is? All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I right up above that arrow. Come down up front. Let's go center on bottom. Oh, shoot. That was good. <laughs> Relax. Fingers. Pull through. Where'd it go? Is it over there? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. But yeah, that's super weird. If you want to learn weird back tension on the <laughs> curve and try to relate it to your compound. Honestly, right now just showed me how much I punched my trigger with my compound because I was so ready to just like let it go without any tension. Yeah. And you cannot shoot a recurve without any tension. Like it's mm -hmm. just impossible. Right. Yeah. Shoot. That's eye opening. <laughs> yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yeah, right the, there. And we, you're already doing it because you're used to shooting mm -hmm. all the time. So you just keep that. Yep. So a lot of times with females, they're going to get a um, hyper extend that elbow and you're going to start smacking that forearm oh, quite a bit. Yeah. You do a great job already, though. So. All right. All right. Yep. Finger corner of the mouth, face on that string. We're just going to pull through that shot. Nice. Better. Why is it way up there? Okay. So now let's. Let's talk about where am I looking on this arrow. Right now, I'm staring at like the tip of the arrow. Is yep. that accurate? Yeah. So, <laughs> what you want to do? You want to look right down the shaft of that arrow. This is actually wild. Like, very interesting. Fun. I'm actually very engaged right now. <laughs> Feel free to jump in any time here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, right, pull straight through it. Finger corner of the mouth. I'm looking right over the shaft of that arrow. As he puts it straight in the center. Okay, at this distance, if I put my hand here, that's where I'm going to shoot. That's you know, awesome. some people do face walking, so instead of hitting the finger here, they'll hit the, you know, the uh, middle finger, or they'll move up higher. You know. Yeah. Okay. So here, let me see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's right, better. So we aim with the black. Yeah. Black walk. Better. We yeah. aim bottom right. Oh. Nice. Pretty better. Oops. There we go. So try to pull through. Right now we're plucking strings. We're just leaving it here. Uh huh. All right. So, so get in there, relax your fingers, pull through. Yeah. She wanted to know if this is going tomorrow. There it is. I guess I gotta switch. I had to retire from compound, move on to recurve. 